Yo, what's up, guys? Ben Fryer here back with another video, and today we're going to be bringing you guys another Madden 22 coverage defense. This one's going to be kind of continuing on to our match coverage theme. So we will be running the cover six invert today. So cover six invert. We've gone through a lot. We've gone cover four, cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover six normal. Now we're gonna go to cover six invert. We still have some other plays like cover nine, cover three match. So we still do have some other plays. I'm gonna be staying the two four five formation regular nickel two four five. Again, you could run this out of any nickel normal or nickel three three five Sam, whatever you want. But we're going to go with the 245 today. I think I'm just in the Falcons playbook, just the normal playbook with the team. I don't know exactly what playbooks this is in. I think Ravens, though, is probably the best one. I don't, it's not in Bears, but yeah, we're going to be running the nickel 245. Again, the cover six invert. So it's there on the right hand side. You're going to have a cover four on one side, cover two invert on the other side, hence the name four plus two equals six. And then you add the invert on the end. Pretty self-explanatory. So one thing we're going to do is, of course, you know me, I like the safeties at linebackers. So that's exactly what we're going to do simply for coverage purposes. Now, we're also probably going to throw Deion Jones over here just for better coverage. But for this, again, don't touch your coach adjustments. Leave auto flip on. And that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, hopping into it. Let's just first explain why we would want to run something like a cover six invert. And the biggest reason is just mix things up. Again, when you're dealing with match, I'm sure some of you guys offensively have dealt with this, or dealt with this rather. When you're dealing with match on defense, you have you have to be very careful and watch you know each defense very closely. And just mixing up a few zones here and there will definitely confuse the offensive player. So switching through all of these kind of schemes or plays that I've talked about will definitely be beneficial towards you guys. So. We'll start out with just the basic way to run it, and pretty much the basic way to run it could just be stock. So we're just gonna actually run it stock first play. Now, as far as who we want to use her, we want to use her this vert hook right here because he's not matched. He's going to just play like a normal vert hook. He's not gonna match onto anybody, whereas the three rec hook is a match zone and it will match on. So of course, you'd want to stay away from that. So we're just gonna run the stock on offense. We have one of the best plays in this game, Flood, out of the gun tight slots half back week. And we'll just go ahead, snap the ball, and show you guys what you know pretty much everything looks like. And there you see just very good coverage. Of course, you have a deep half over the top on that right side. That'll help pretty much defend anything else. And of course, it's not matching, so it will help defend things like the deep post. But just hopping into the replay, you see our quarter flat's going to take this guy. Our outside quarter will match onto the corner route. And then, of course, that inside quarter is going to take Devontae Smith. Um, where is our deep half? Our deep half is right there. So I guess the deep half does, or no, the deep half's with the corner. So even if you wanted to, you could probably back off this guy, AJ Terrell, because you see he still didn't get deep enough. And for whatever reason, the deep halves don't go back immediately. So that is an adjustment that I should have talked about that we ultimately will with the next play. Also, before you end the video, I do want to remind you guys to drop a big thumbs up for more of these videos. If you're enjoying them, make sure you go down below right now and hit that subscribe button. It would be much appreciated. It's the best way to show support to the channel. But going back to my point, what I would do is maybe back up AJ Terrell. The way you do that is you double tap, you press Y or triangle, A or X, B, and then that left stick up. Now, since I clicked onto him, he's not going to back up, but that would be the way to kind of back him up. If I really wanted to, I could also kind of give him the look like this, actually flip these two guys. So that could be a good way. And it kind of gives him still just the normal cover for a look that he's been seeing with, you know, every other play, every other match concept that you might have ran throughout the course of the game and pretty much any other normal play as well. So again, just some basic things that you can do realistically. If I wanted to, I could press. Uh, pressing is a little bit risky and I'll show you why just running it again here. Look at the corner route here. The corner route's going to get wide open. You see both players actually get bumped. So again, staying away from press in this game is generally a good idea, especially with match coverage. I would 100% stay away from the press. So again, I would probably back up this guy, but we'll just show it a couple more times. Let's go to like a four verticals type of a play just to give you guys some more looks. Here you see coverage is still pretty good. Again, the only guy who might have a little bit of opening there is of course going to be Miles Sanders, depending on if he cuts the outside there. We don't have a match on the right side. And then of course, any route on the flat that might get over the curl flat that isn't matched on. So that's 
usually going to be in this formation either these two guys uh, maybe be on a corner out a on a corner out but in that case it would have been Goddard on the wheel who did get a little bit open but he was defended you know decently well because again the deep half starting from a press position so there's not too big of a concern of course Devonte smith he's on a choice route so against match coverage i believe he runs that post just the way that he did so he might get a little separation then sanders he's on another choice route so of course we don't really know where he's going which could have potentially been my zone again in a perfect world, you would be able to adjust your zone drops, but I still will give you guys some better adjustments to kind of take care of that. Here again, you see pretty good coverage. The post route might be a little bit open, but from that angle, it's still going to be a little bit difficult to make that pass, if that makes any sense. So let's talk about some of the adjustments that we could do. Now, first adjustment is going to be man coverage, especially if you're going against something like bunch. So we'll just run the bunch from the short side, but the first thing that you would probably do is course we're gonna flip here but the first adjustment to do is man up the tight end I definitely that's an adjustment that I'm always doing especially if they begin to establish any kind of a delay fade concept that's something that you want to do so we are going to man up uh, Deion Jones over here on Dallas Goddard just like so this is will pretty much allow our quarter flat to also take the flats exclusively and not have to worry about the tight end on any other route. So again, make sure you get an athletic guy there. But this would generally be just the setup I would run. Again, I'm still using the vert hook, leave this guy over here and you still have a three man rush. So now we'll snap the ball. Of course, interesting take on who you want to defend. It really does you know, depend on the route combos that he's going with, but that could also kind of add to our next play design where you notice how that running back's open and if I want to an adjustment that can just pretty much end that play would be to either hard flat Deion Jones so now maybe because or let's flip first and then let's hard flat but this will pretty much take care of any routes on the right it pretty much gives the outside routes gone any crossers from left to right gone and of course, any underneath route. So now with my user, I can pretty much just take the deep route from right to left, but the biggest hole would be any route like this with Miles Sanders. So that is where you're gonna have to pick things up because of course he's not gonna get matched on, but you see everything else seems to be defended well and everything is matched on pretty well. Of course, rushing three, we just get no pressure. Falcons defense for you, but that would be a decent adjustment and again, just, you just have to make sure with your user in this particular coverage that you recognize where the hole is pre-play because the running back route could get open there, drag, potentially open if it's not matched on. So that is your responsibility as the user. Of course, I could do this vice versa and in the bunch situation, what I could go ahead and do if I needed to would be to uh, go ahead and hard flat the opposite side now. So we're going to now put Dante Fowler on the hard flat on this side. And this would allow me to user more things deep. So if it were a vertical setup, just like this one, now I have the freedom to take RB with my user and pretty much everything else is completely caged right there. Of course, our hard flight doing the job over there and you know, no worries there. So that is a really good adjustment. And again, it's just picking up on tendencies I know with the running back route, more times it's going to be to the right, so that might be my preferred adjustment to put the hard fight over there and then try and defend both the routes myself. But yeah, it's going to be the first way to run it. Now, if you want to potentially confuse your opponent even more, something that you could do is actually user the safety. Of course, he's on a curl flat, not matching zone. So what you can do is just throw this vert hook here in the curl flat. And this can just add to the confusion. Now him seeing you user on the safety and just all this stuff is adding up in the back of his mind throughout the game. All of it's going through his mind. Trust me when I say that. So he's just going to be pretty confused on what's happening. Now maybe he thinks you're in a cover three buzz or a cover, some kind of a cover four where you're using a quarter, but your cover four is actually to the opposite side. So all of that stuff can kind of add to his confusion. And again, with your user, you're able to get down quickly. We have everything defended very, very well right there. So that could just be a different adjustment. Again, all I'm doing is putting the vert hook in the curl flat and we're actually just using the safety. So I'd probably not move it. You don't really want to give away what you're doing. Let's go back to a verticals type of a play. You see again, everything just offended well. I would prefer to rush four out of this, but again, if you need to, you can man up the tight end 
where I can add an extra hard flat where I need to, but until he beats this play stock with, you know, whether you're changing your user or not, there's not much that you really have to do to add to the, you know, to make this play really better. So let's just try to go to a different formation here just to mix it up a bit. Let's go with like a PA crossers type of a look just to show you what that might look like. So we'll go with something like this. So again, if I see him go here, probably I'm just going to give it to him stock the first play and we'll just feel out exactly what he's doing. We're hoping that he takes the running back, which he does. And you see that's a stock PA crossers look. Of course, that three receiver hook is going to be defending him a little bit better if he's higher overall than that 70 overall safety or whatever. So that would be, again, the first way to run. You see just these setups are pretty good. This is a PA boot over type of a setup. We'll show something like this. This would be an interesting take on what it would do but now we'll man up the tight end so that threat's going to be taken away and we'll see who we have to use her it depends on who we match on it's going to be y here but you see the delay fade uh, i don't know why Dion jones rushed there usually they won't if he's on a delay fade at least in game but i mean everything defended well what is that guy uh who is that dante fowler i don't know what exactly happened to him but he was just sitting on the floor for 20 minutes so that's cool but you see Again, really, the only holes are going to be if your user were in terrible positions. So other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty non-reliant on the user. You don't have to cover a lot of ground. You really just have to cover one particular spot. But I mean, you see I'm running these very good plays on offense. Let's smart out X. Let's smart out Y. Just mix it up a bit. Go with some unique setups. We'll delay fade A. Here's the setup you see. Let's actually throw them back on the in route. So here's the setup offensively just mixing it up giving you know this defense every look we possibly could so again i'm gonna probably man up the tight end if i see him going on delay fade ever i'm probably gonna start manning him up it's just not smart to let him pick up 20 yards when he's absolutely bagged again i like to back up this guy just a little bit but once again here where are my biggest gaps in this defense it's going to be the flat to the right and I mean, that's the biggest spot, really. Any curls, any inside routes from the right, potentially, but that's really my area. I don't th really see myself having to defend anything on the left side. So again, I feel like the left side is perfectly defended well. So now all I'm focusing on is B here and you see everything else defended well. I mean, Sheffield, he's a lower overall guy, but normally he should be able to match onto that a little bit well. I'm not actually sure what happened. I wasn't really watching him, but also, what happened to our boy AJ Terrell? I guess he matched on. That's cool. Didn't know that was the case, but if you notice your deep half somehow for some reason matching on, I guess we just found a new cover two beater potentially. But yeah, the, for whatever reason, the super deep in routes, just regular and deeper in routes, for whatever reason, inside thirds and deep halves travel. I don't know why, but if this is an issue, maybe shading outside, shading over the top would stop that. But again, normally this free safety would not get cooked that badly as long as you have similar or like one speed point lower. But it's pretty much going to do for the video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, follow all of my links and peace. I'm out of here.